Good morning, ladies. Oh, where, where am I? What, what where is this? Is we? What are we where doing? Are we? Huh? What's going uh, on? Oh my God. Mm. Oh. Oh. What's happening? How are you all feeling? Oh, kind of dizzy. Uh, a bit queasy. My head hurts a little. Okay, okay. Well, just close your eyes. Breathe in the fresh air through your nostrils. Hold it in for the count of two. One, two. And breathe it out through your mouth. Good. Repeat this a few times. Uh, who are you? Oh, <laughs> I'm Evangelina the bearer of good news. And since you're all best friends, it's good that you're all together for this news. Okay. You see, last night, you three went to sleep and didn't wake up. Mm. What? What? Huh? Wait, wait, what? what? We're dead? Uh, That's good news. Wait, what happened? This may be easier than I thought. Um, okay. Oh, Right, um, do you remember going to bed last night? Yeah. Mm -hmm. good, good. Well, your apartment's carbon monoxide detector malfunctioned, and all of you passed away from carbon monoxide poisoning. Oh. And, and yes, and now you're in a place called limbo. <laughs> the good news is you're not in hell. Great. Uh, so mm -hmm. we all go to heaven, right? No, 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 not so fast. It's not that easy. Oh, wait, what's the catch? What happens now? What do we have to do? Well, you have to confess your sins. Here in limbo, you won't be judged. Nevertheless, you do have the chance to make confessions. If you do, you'll go to heaven, nirvana, or what's generally called the afterlife a place free of politics and jerks and everyone is kind to each other anger doesn't exist and no one can curse ah damn it i knew there was a catch who hasn't sinned nobody's perfect it's not like we've committed any serious crimes like murder human trafficking or terrorism am i right 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 well I did once rip a tag off a mattress. <laughs> <laughs> ladies, ladies, please take this seriously. You don't need to have committed a major crime to confess. Any wrongdoing, no matter how small, that could have hurt someone else is worthy of confession. So if we confess our wrongdoings, we get to go to heaven, nirvana, afterlife, or whatever you call it, right? Yes. Every wrongdoing? This could take a long time. Uh, true, but um, hmm. how about you confess your worst transgressions within the past five years? Okay. All right, I'll go first. Rachel and Emma, remember how you advertised the apartment as smoke-free? Uh-huh. Uh -huh. Well, I told you I didn't smoke, but I did. <gasps> I mean, honestly, I was trying to quit, and I thought that moving into a smoke-free place with non-smokers would help me quit. And it did. Almost. <gasps> what do you mean, almost? During my messy breakup with Ian, I puffed a few, few cigs to calm my nerves, but I smoked only in my room and with the window open. Ah, no wonder I kept smelling lavender. Oh, I thought that cloying scent from your essential oil diffuser was for aromatherapy, not a cover-up. And I am, a, was asthmatic and very sensitive to secondhand smoke. I know, I'm so sorry. <sighs> Oh, good job, Gina, for confessing and apologizing. Now, doesn't that feel better? Sort of, I guess. But what about us? Yeah, Gina, you lied to us before and after you moved in. Oh, oh. 
Yes, those wronged have a chance to practice forgiveness. A tough but important process that takes time. Well, we are dead. So I guess secondhand smoke can't kill us anymore. And we no longer own things that can absorb and reek of cigarette odors, right? That is correct. Uh huh. But Gina, it's a matter of principle. You betrayed us. Yeah. Okay, th that's also true. Confessions clear the air, but uh, stir up resentment. Both the courage to confess and the strength to forgive are all part of staying out of hell. So, who's next? I confess that whenever I buy a bought clothes, I kept their tags on in case I wanted to return or resell them. I noticed your clothes still had tags on whenever I looked through your closet, but I never took anything. I'm <gasps> not asking. Oh, Emma, remember that cute blouse you lent me for my job interview? Uh, yeah. Well, it didn't go well, so I <gasps> threw my lunch against the wall. Most of the ketchup ended up dripping down the wall, but some of it ricocheted off and onto the blouse. What? I ruined it, but was too embarrassed to tell you. And then uh, I helped Gina scour Ann Taylor's stores to find an exact copy to replace it. You knew about this! Yeah. Ah. Well, I was fooled and didn't notice any difference. Right. Gina, thanks for the new blouse. Of course. By the way, you have anger issues. I know! I'm working through them. Although I guess we don't need to since supposedly there's no anger in the afterlife. Right. <laughs> There's only harmony and empathy and no strife or anger. That's good to hear. Uh, because, Gina, I borrowed your gold sequin gown for the New Year's Eve party we threw when you were away. Wait, you wore my couture piece without asking? Yes, but I was really careful not to spill anything on it. No wonder the gown was missing sequins and the back seam was ripped at the butt! I'm so sorry. It's okay. I guess I don't need that dress anymore. Right. <laughs> Indeed, you don't. Everyone in the afterlife exists in a spiritual form only, so there's no need for clothing. I have another confession to make! I kept a secret stash of chocolates in my room so I wouldn't have to share, share them. Emma, I know. Oh! I found them in your closet each time I was in there, and I always snagged a few pieces. You what? Rachel, I also ate your food whenever you weren't looking. A scoop of hummus here, a slice oh. of cheese there, a handful of chips oh. or open bags you'd leave out on the counter. Well, Gina, Gina, that makes me feel better. Um, because whenever you bought and opened a new bottle of alcohol, wine, whiskey, vodka, oh, yeah. um, I'd sneak a few sips. Then, so you wouldn't notice any missing, I'd add back a little water. Aha! I knew someone was watering down my drinks. You did? As a test, I once put the vodka in the freezer. Okay. And of course, the vodka wouldn't freeze, but the water did. Speaking oh. of watering down... Mm -hmm. Rachel, mm -hmm. I used your expensive organic shampoo, but then mixed in some apple cider vinegar. So what? No <laughs> wonder I thought I was always smelling salad dressing. I thought I was imagining things. I'm sorry. At least apple cider vinegar balances scalp pH and deep cleans uh -huh. hair, which I guess we don't have to worry about anymore. <laughs> It's okay, Emma. And that's true, we don't. Gina, um, remember when your family visited last spring? Uh, yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. Well, uh, I clogged the toilet, blamed it on your brother, and then made you deal with it. Oh, oh, really? So sorry. Well, I guess then we're even. While unclogging the damn toilet, I knocked her toothbrush in by mistake. 
<laughs> what? Ew! Oh, right! Oh, my like on Seinfeld when Jerry accidentally knocked his girlfriend's toothbrush off the counter into the toilet. Oh, right! And right, yeah. he panicked, pulled it out, yeah. and put it back. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> the, the poor girlfriend yeah. didn't even see what happened and, and ended up brushing her teeth with that oh. dirty toothbrush. Gross! <laughs> Oh my God, that was terrible. Well, at least Jerry later got her a new electric toothbrush. <laughs> Gina, you could have bought me a new manual toothbrush, which would have been cheaper than the new blouse you bought for Emma. I'm just, <gasps> I'm just saying. Well, bravo. You're all crushing it with your confessions. And I commend your attempts at forgiveness. Mm. Well, I have another confession. Oh, dear. <sighs> Not another one. I let Ian sleep over a lot. I'm so sorry, Rachel and Emma. We know. Uh, your boyfriend practically moved in. He was always in the shower using up the hot water or in the kitchen frying fish. Oh yeah, but at least he never clogged the toilet or stole alcohol. You know he what? He was sweet. But he hung around the apartment all the time. I wanted to charge him rent. But instead, I seduced and slept with him. What? What? Uh, what? Yes, that's why he broke up with Gina. Ah! Uh, Ian and ah! I enjoyed a, a fling, a fling, ah! until ah! I thought ah! I was pregnant. Ah! Ah! Don't worry. Thankfully, that pregnancy scare turned out to be a false alarm. And that scared off Ian, too. I was wondering why you wanted to break up so suddenly. How long was this affair going on? About a month. I'm so sorry, Gina. I'm so, I'm so, so very sorry. But trust me, things turned out for the better. Oh. Ian was no good. And luckily, in the end, I didn't have to worry about getting an abortion. Well, at least you had a choice, which necessarily wouldn't be the case depending on where we live. Uh, lived. Right. Right. I know. <sighs> Rachel? Mm hmm I'm also relieved you weren't pregnant. I must confess. When you kept leaving your diaphragm by the sink, I got so irritated that I poked a tiny hole into it. You what? <laughs> but at least I didn't knock it into the toilet! Oh my god, I think that's better! Sounds a lot worse than a germy toothbrush. Absolutely. Whom now? Wow! I cannot believe you did that, Emma. I trusted you. you know, that is illegal. You can go to prison. Calm, calm down. You've all done well with your confessions, and just need to work on forgiveness. <laughs> and um, now. I have a confession to make. Although your reproductive rights are dead, you aren't. <laughs> huh? Yeah. What? what? Yes, it's true. Your next door neighbor's carbon monoxide detector went off and paramedics managed to save you before it was too late. Oh, oh, oh. What? Wait, we're alive? Wait, so why the hell you tell us we were dead? Because I'm actually a psychologist and you're all part of my research study on people's behavior if they think they're dead and want to avoid hell. Oh, Are you kidding? That is absolutely unethical. I could not believe you would do such a thing. I can't believe it. As a clinical therapist, I must tell you, you all have psychopathic tendencies and need help. You think? Oh, no. No. Oh, no. It's okay, though, um, because the best news of all is I just got my real estate license okay. <laughs> and I can help each of you find a new home. <laughs> yeah. Oh. It's, well, 
I assume none of you want to live with each other anymore, right? Uh, yeah, yeah no. absolutely oh, not. No, 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 there's no, no way in hell that I want to live with you. Girls, whatever you're called. Gina, Gina, you never deserved Ian. Ian needed somebody with with a good heart. You were always angry all the time. And Emma, Emma, you betrayed me even more than Gina. I drove you crazy. You drove me crazy. With those, those skipping, all of those. Tags no, on your insane. shirts, no right? Way. Oh! oh. You know what? Oh.